Hello, everybody. This is the notes for section 2.7. Uh, it's prove angle pair relationships. Now, some of the angle pair relationships that we have talked about is complementary, supplementary, uh, vertical angles, linear pairs. Uh, and so we're talking about the proofs of them. Okay, these are things that we've just kind of accepted as true. In this section, we're going to talk about why they're true and, and how they're true. So we're going to prove them. All right, um, you got three theorems here. Uh, they have all can be proven. We're going to prove one of them. So take a, a minute, hit pause, copy this stuff down. Uh, you don't need to copy that. That's not worthwhile for you. That's just stuff from the book. But uh, everything else is, is good. What you're looking at, this is the theorem. This is just an example going towards the picture. Um, same thing for theorem 2.5. This is the actual theorem. This stuff right here is just detailed information from the picture, giving you that example. So hit pause, copy this stuff down. Okay, uh, so for the top one, theorem 2.3, right angles congruence theorem. Um, it says all right angles are congruent. So that should make sense. All right angles, right angles are 90 degree angles. So if you have a couple of 90 degree angles, well, they're all equal to each other, so they got to be congruent. They're all 90 degrees, they're all the same, which means they're congruent. So it's very logical, it seems kind of simple, but it kind of is. If you are dealing with multiple right angles, you can just make the statement, they are congruent to each other. For theorem 2.4, congruent supplements theorem, um, what it says is if two angles are supplementary to the same angle, or to congruent angles, then the other angles are equal. So in the picture, you've got angle 1 and 2. Those are supplementary to each other. You have angles 2 and 3. Those are supplementary to each other. Now, supplementary means they add to be 180. So, just a, this is a very informal proof, but this is basically the proof. Angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180. Angle 2 plus angle 3 also equals 180. Both of these things equal 180. So that means angle 1 plus angle 2 equals angle 2 plus angle 3. And then with the subtraction property of equality, you subtract angle 2 from both sides. You've got angles 1 and 3 congruent. And that's what this theorem says. You've got these two angles, angles 1 and 3. They are supplementary to this same angle, angle 2. And so, since they're supplementary to the same angle, they got to be equal to each other. Theorem 2.5 uh, basically says the same thing, except for now with complementary angles. Complementary angles add to 180. So, we're going to do that proof right here. It's a two-column proof. All right, you are given angle 4 and 5 are complementary and... Angle 6 and angle 5 are complementary. So, statement 1 is always the given information. Angles 4 and 5 are complementary. Angle 5 and angle 6 are complementary. Why is this true? We were given it. Okay, for the second statement. Well, the whole idea of these proofs is that you are using the given information, the picture, anything that you know, other theorems, other definitions, postulates, whatever, to start making new statements. Okay, so angles 4 and 5 are complementary. That was the first statement in the given. What does that mean for them to be complementary? It means that if you add up angle 4 and angle 5, it equals 90. Why is that true? That's the definition of complementary. Okay. Definitions are true, so we're using known true statements to make new statements. We can do the same thing and for the same reason to say angle 5 plus angle 6 equals 90. So technically this is statement 3. The reason for 3, it's the same thing. 
Five and six are complementary. That means they had to be 90 degrees. So definition of complementary justifies statement three. Okay, in statement four, again, we're trying to prove angle four is congruent to angle six. And so if you look at your statements two and three, we essentially have a system of equations. Both of these equations end up saying equal to 90 degrees. Well, with the transitive property, we can make this statement. Angle 4 plus angle 5 equals angle 5 plus angle 6. It's kind of like a substitution. We're taking out one 90 degree angle, replacing it with what it's equal to. I think in this case, the transitive property works a little bit better. Transitive. And that was the property of equality. All right. We're trying to get to angle four being congruent to angle six. Last statement. If you look at our equation here in uh, statement four, they both have angles five on, on the left side and on the right side of the equal sign. You subtract that, you're left with angle four, and we can just change this to a congruent. Congruent basically means equal to angle six. The reason we can make that statement, we subtracted the same thing for both sides. So that's a subtraction property of equality. Okay, so that's the proof. Um, now that it's been proven, we don't need to do this proof every single time. We can just, if we come up to this situation where you're given two uh, pairs of angles are congruent to the same thing, we can just go ahead and say that pair of angles is congruent to each other, just like we just did here. We proved it. It's a proven statement. We don't need to prove it again, and so it's just it's done. Okay, uh, that's it for the first video. The next one is going to talk about some vertical angles and some other pairs. Uh, so watch that, please.